Hello, it's your boy HRB5000 with a plethora of potentially educational information. I say potentially because some of you are way too stubborn to teach, but I will still try. In this episode we're going to go over basic escape from Tarkov loadouts in hopes of helping you extract and survive. In the early levels of the game, it is very important to stay cheap and effective. So I have listed a couple of the best early game weapons to frag out within similar price ranges, you can decide which loadout suits well for your playstyle, skills and budget. Welcome to Decoded. We'll start with what armor and head protection you can and should wear. Without access to the flea market, you have very little options other than the Paco armor, the green steel helmet and the GSSH headsets, and any backpack that's bigger than the MBSS, it's always nice to have a lot of room. This loadout isn't very expensive, but it'll do fine against scavs and low level players, as you will all be wearing similar gear. I personally used this loadout in my early levels to accomplish the first few tasks, but I tried to choose my fights carefully and only take them when I had an advantage. Now that you have armor, let's talk about gun options. As I mentioned earlier, there are plenty of options. But there is one gun in Tarkov that is not only effective and cheap, but in my opinion will also teach you one of the most effective ways to fight in Tarkov. The Humble SKS. Available at prepper level 1 alongside the cheap yet somewhat effective PS ammo. The SKS without any mods can easily eliminate scavs with a neatly placed headshot and with some skill can even take on kitted PMCs. This is obviously not a spray and pray type of weapon, you will need to line up your shots and reposition, and use your environment often. But this is why I love the SKS, it forces you to play the game dynamically. You can't just stand in a corner holding an angle because you will often die to people with fully automatic guns rushing or pre-firing you. Instead, you need to find flanking options and cheeky tactics to get an advantage on your opponent. An alternative option for the SKS with equally cheap ammo is the Mosin. It's about 10k rubles more than the SKS from level 1 proper but this gun can 1 or 2 shot mostly everything. The biggest downside about this gun is the fact that it is a bolt action rifle. So you probably want to avoid most close range fights with it as you'll most likely perish. Speaking of perishing and losing gear, I have a simple tip for you that helped me get over gear fear in EFT. And that's understanding how the economy works. This game has some sort of self-investment, the money you spend on yourself and your gear will ultimately determine your chances of extracting. The more prepared you are for any engagement, the better. More ammo means more kills, better armor means better survivability and so on and so forth. But if you ever do get to a point where you absolutely have no money, that's where scav runs become really handy. So the bottom line is this, don't be scared to spend, there are always ways to make money without money, but the chances of your making more money will increase depending on how much money you spend on yourself. As always, these tips come with a disclaimer, they'll only be as effective as how you use them. These weapons aren't meant for everyone so experiment and try things out. The early levels of Tarkov are all about gathering information and surviving, killing will come in later. Good luck and have fun. As always, this is HRB5000, signing off, peace, bye.